Hello everyone, welcome to another update for the Odyssey G9 review. Um, many questions I got were about HDMI 2.1. Uh, I never used this before on the computer, but I've borrowed the cable from my wife's Xbox One X and I think this is HDMI 2.1. At least it seems to work. Um, well, let me show you what I have done here now. I have turned on HDR on Windows 10 and I have also turned on variable refresh rate on the monitor and we are connected via HDMI and when I put information you can see here that we have can you see it? that we have HDR is on, FreeSync Premium Pro is still on, but I think he must mean variable refresh rate. And we are at the big resolution with 144 hertz. And if I want to change the frequency now in Windows, uh, where is this here? Display. Advanced display. Then I can change between 144, 120. Do you see it? 120 and 60. So these are the ranges that I can turn on. I cannot use 240 hertz, but I guess that's normal, right? Uh, well, this is my first G9. I did not have the predecessor, so I do not know so much about its capabilities and what it could not do. Uh, what I can tell is so far I have not heard one popping noise. I I uh, opened a YouTube video to to see what it what the, this is and I have not heard anything at all. What I heard were some strange crashes with new worlds but since the beta is now finished anyway I cannot test it anymore and so far I have only tested Alex and this is what I will load now but I will I will um, test more games starting now. And I have also borrowed uh, my wife's Xbox One X series, so we can test this too in the next video. And I will make a comparison um, with my wife's uh, OLED television. She has this 48 inch OLED uh, television for her Xbox One, so we can connect a computer to that and also make the screensaver test so we have something to compare. Okay, let's check the, what resolution do we have here. We have the big resolution. Let's change it to... Um, not, no, let's not change it. Let's just uh, load it one, one time, please, here. Uh, maybe this. I hope the camera is not too bright. I have the brightness on maximum for the monitor right now. I personally would prefer to tune it a bit down. Okay, so we are now um, with HDMI 2.1 and information should give us the FreeSync range, the variable refresh rate. Well, I don't get maximum, but there it was. It's 144 hertz. Do you see this? No, maybe. Here it, it works. One, there, there was 144 again. So I guess this works. And oh, it looks really nice. Let me reduce the resolution now, maybe. Maybe to this here. Ah, now it stretches it strangely. Let this be. Yes. Now I have a pretty fat guy here. Well, I would not like to play it like this. Let me test 16. But this could also be the game. Alex also um, was not made for 32 to 9, I think. The maximum is... Uh, even it, it was not even made for... Uh, it stretches it. Okay, maybe I have to go to the display driver and uh, make it so that the aspect ratio is good. I can't... Or can I do it in the menu? No, I cannot do it in the menu. Okay, short break in the video. Oh, well, I could have just 
let the camera run. Here we are. I ju just turned GPU scaling on, scaling mode, preserve aspect ratio. What is Integra scaling again? Oh, well, let's turn it on. HDMI link assurance, what's this? Detects at connection and drops your display to a lower link speed to a No, we want the maximum speed for now. So I will know. Ah, here's the FreeSync range. The FreeSync range is reported 48 to 144 hertz with HDMI 2.1. Well, you guys need to tell me if that's good or not. <laughs> I never used HDMI on the computer. Uh, and well, not since this report was available. Okay, now we can test Alex one last time. And then I will also test um, in this video the picture by picture. I got a lot of questions with picture by picture. What can the monitor do there? The intro takes forever. The room is a bit too bright, I think. But the um, local dimming works. Let me kill the lights quick. Yes, so you see. Local dimming, perfect. Well, I, we can turn. If the focus is good, we can let the lights off. Load game one more time. Ah, now we also even have the correct display resolution and aspect ratio. Well, Alex, I would prefer to play like this because then also the dialogues works. And if you play this game with um, with this. It's pretty funny, actually. Uh, when I talk to someone, let me find someone. Yeah, someone I can talk to. Yeah, of course, now there's no one here. Hey, maybe this guard. Yeah, usually you should see the whole person and not just um, its stomach or breast or something. If I change the resolution. No, let's change it to something the game really works with. When we t talk to her now, it's like it's supposed to be. Okay. Mm. Well, I hope this answers some questions with HDMI 2.1. Um, well, let's um, let's test the picture by picture mode. What can we do there? Let's turn this on. And what hertz do we have there? Okay, can I get picture? No signal here, and this something there. Okay. With display port, this was different. This was very different with display port. Let's make an even mode here. What's now? Ha! Huh, maybe it's because um, yeah, maybe I need to change the resolution. Maybe it forces this resolution. Uh, let me change this to 16 to 9 to what we have now. Yeah, that's uh, that's it. So now we have um, now it's correct here. Now it's correct, and of course this one is missing. I would have to connect a second computer here. Well, maybe if it, maybe I can do this. Let's see. But what do we want to know? We want to know um, we have 120 hertz. So you can use this mode with 120 hertz, it seems. I think people were wondering that, and I think this is good, right? Wasn't this wasn't this worse on the older G9? I don't know. Okay, I hope this answers another question. And I think this concludes this video. See you next video. And thank you so much for all your comments so far, and I'm glad you like it. Um, keep the questions coming. Bye-bye.